Hi guys, Chris again, and in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Sapphire Nitro Radeon R9 Fury video card. After watching this, you'll know what this is, what it can do, and what you should pay for it. So let's get started. So first of all, this is a four gigabyte 2015, mid 2015 release GPU based on the GCN 3.0 architecture. It's somewhat similar to cards like the R9 390, R9 390X, uh, obviously Fury X, even the 290X cards like that. They're kind of all in the same family. Um, but uh, And this would have competed when new with the, uh, the GeForce GTX 980. Well, 980 and 980 Ti. Uh, this would have been their top card at the time, and the 980 Ti would have been the NVIDIA top card at the time. Um, I do believe the 980 Ti is a superior card to this, but this is pretty similar to the GTX 980. So what this can do is it can still run some modern games. What I'm finding, though, is that it seems like there are some driver compatibility issues. I did have a few games that just poof. Uh, they were running fine, and then poof. And then one of them, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn Remastered, was actually running fine, and then poof, couldn't get it to run again. Reset the video settings, couldn't get it to run. It's the weirdest thing. Um, uh, Jedi Survivor, I didn't have high hopes for performance, but I thought maybe I could get it to run. Nope, same thing. Uh, it just wouldn't even run. Uh, it seemed to be some sort of error with Unreal Engine 5. Uh, Fortnite ran. Fortnite ran great. If this was the video card you had access to, you'd be able to play Fortnite competitively. Um, so what should you pay for this? So I get 980 Ti's for $40, $50. I know market on them is going up a little, but I would say either don't buy this or don't buy it for more than 20 bucks, depending on your market. Here in the U.S. market, yeah. It's, it's not that it's not it's not that, say, $40, $50 is a ripoff. It's just there are, as always, better options for the $40 or $50 that these usually go for. You can you can usually find something like a, like a 1080, 1070. Even a 1060 would probably still be better than this. So I just, I can't in good conscience recommend that you buy it unless you get it for close to free. It's an okay card. If you already got one or you get given one or whatever, it has uses. It's just not worth a lot of money. Anyway, I hope you guys find this useful, and thanks for watching the video.